Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Tamin. In this video, we are going to learn how to load data from API in React application. The API that we are going to use is JSON placeholder.typical.com. This is free fake API for testing and prototype. So we don't have to waste our time to create our own API because this video we will focus only in React. All right, let's go down. In this video, we are going to load posts from this URL, okay? Then this URL will provide us the collection of data in JSON, all right? Let's get started. So let's go back to our application. Let's go to block page. Next, we are going to create state variable for all posts that we load from API. Con post set post equal to use state. The default value should be empty array. Okay, and then we have to import use state over here. Import use state. There is no error. The next thing that we have to do, we have to import use effect. So why we need to use use effects in our application? Because use effects is used to detect our application first load. So every time that our application load, use effect will be called. So we can declare use effects over here. Okay, this is how we use use effect to detect our application first load. So when our application first load, we want is to load data from this URL. So we copy this URL and then I'm going to create function over here, con fetch posts arrow function. Then I'm going to call fetch a function from JavaScript over here and paste the URL over here. So then I put then, we get response and we will get only response.json and then we will get JSON and we will set this JSON to post. Okay, we call set post over here. And then we pass this JSON to post variable, okay? Next, we just call this function fetch post in use effect, okay? Then we save. Uh, why we get an error over here? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's remove S over here. Control save, okay? There is no error anymore. Let's go back to our application. All right, let's go to block. Okay, let's inspect our application. So if you install React Chrome extension, so or React Developer 2, I recommend you install this extension on your computer so you can inspect React application, okay? Then you go to inspect and then you go to component over here. And if you click on block page over here, click on block page you will see state variable. Here is the data that we load from the URL, this URL, okay? Right now, our application have loaded the data from the URL. So we can access it over here. We have to print it out. So I'm going to show it over here. So what can I do? So I have to use loop, right? We have learned about loop before. So we call posts and then map and then we put get post and we put index over here okay we create diff and then I will print out post title okay post title so post title is this one here each post has post title and post ID okay and this one for to avoid error each post need to have its unique key. So I put key over here and then I put index over here, save. And if you go back to your application, you will see the title of each post over here. Okay, you can put like index over here, save. And you will see zero, one, two, three. You will see 99 posts over here. Uh, if you want to show one or two, three, you can put like, you can put a uh, post ID over here, save. 
see okay how about if you want to show is like its body you can put like div over here right and then you can show post dot body save over here I can put HR save see you see each post from the URL this URL okay fetch over here come with JavaScript so you can even use like Axios library to make your code more short and beautiful all right we are going to learn how to use Axios to load data in this video too all right let's stop uh, react application Control c over here and type y okay then npm install axios hit enter so if you go to package.json you will see axios over here okay next let's import axios over here import axios okay so i will comment this one we are going to use axios instead of fit okay let me create variable con respond post okay then i put axios i call it get and i copy this url over here and put this over here okay this is how you use axios so but you have to put asins over here and you have to put await over here the next thing that you have to do then you can call set post down here and this one you can put this over here and you have to put dot data and you can save it you can totally remove this one but before you go back to your application you need to run npm start hit enter then you can go back to the application go to block see it's work the same but the code is like is shorter than fetch okay it's shorter i prefer axios over fetch because it's easy to use you can even show loading on your application or spinner on your application as well for example i'm going to create variable over here loading set loading use state is equal to true default value is true right default value is true so over here let me check if the application is loading okay loading if loading is true i'm going to show message like data is loading else i'm going to show all posts create div over here cut this one and paste this over here all right when the application first load like is we show loading is true right but after the data is fetched we have to show the data okay so loading should be false for example set loading over here like after we load all data loading should be false so i put false over here save all right if i go back to here you won't see any different over here but you go to inspect and then you go to network and adjust the slower network for example i choose slower 3g and click on refresh again you will see data is loading over here see let me refresh the page again if it's low network you will see the data is loading message over here and after it, the data is load it will show all posts this is the last video for react tutorial for beginners next i recommend you to learn from a project all right let's go to my youtube channels dev to uh i recommend Shinobi. you to study from this video react js create pos for beginner in one hour i recommend you learn from this video this is exercise tutorial for beginners i will put the link of this video in the description all right if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below thank you so much for watching